Hello and welcome back to Seaside Garage. This is my Moto Pican Mobi X1 folding moped. I made a video quite a while back when I got this, where I got it to run. And then in the end of that video, I told you that the next video would be a driving video and then I completely forgot about it. I actually did do a riding video on this one when I went to pick up my Citroen C25 camper van because that was bought locally so I could use this to go there and put it into the uh, the camper and then drive it home. But I think it's time to do a video just riding this and show you the awesomeness of this little machine. This is from the 70s and the 70s was just a time period where stuff like this was possible. Many moped manufacturers tried different kinds of folding bike solution. You could get a folding Velo Solex. There was the, uh, the Moto Combo from Honda. There was many of these kinds of things that were designed to be used as a, as a camping moped that you could bring in your caravan or in the back of your car or on your sailboat or something like that just to zip around and this is exactly that. As you can see it's currently folded down. There's a handle right there to pick it up. It's, it's not light but it's not that heavy either. To make it rideable you just turn this one Pull it up and then lock this one like so. And then this handlebar is just pulled up like this and the screw is tightened. Voila! To open the fuel you just have to open the vent. The fuel tank is tight and therefore it won't continue to run due to vacuum. And to start it you just pedal and turn the throttle the opposite direction that, that will open a valve into the engine letting the compression out making it much easier to turn so just spin it a bit and then there is a fuel enrichment uh, valve handle on the left side that you can push if you need a bit of choke the reverse the reverse choke really and then you just turn it and give it some throttle There we go, it's running. Easy peasy. And this machine is pretty much just designed to be featured in a, in a Fallout franchise. It's just a very kind of post-apocalyptic design in my opinion. It's really the futuristic kind of thing where you were expecting flying cars just around the corner. It's a very special kind of, of design. Uh, it's plastic all over the place and down here we got a little engine. The same as found on the Motobican caddies, for instance. It's one of these. Very simple, small engine. There's only one bearing on the crankshaft. And then we've got the clutch mechanism out here and the magneto in there. It's a bit weird to, to, uh, it's a bit weird to do ignition timing on, but uh, yeah, it's just different. And then we've got the intake that runs into the, to the same area as the exhaust. It's a pretty funky little engine. Then we've got lights, the throttle enrichment, the, uh, the throttle and decompression function, and a speedo. I don't know why it goes to 60. It's just a funky little moped. Let's take it for a ride. So the Mobi X is not exactly a speed machine. It is only a 50cc or 49cc engine, uh, like all mopeds in my country. But uh, even that <laughs> is not showing because there's not a lot of power. As you can see, I'm currently riding 10 or 15 kilometers per hour, but it is going uphill, so, uh, and the engine is cold also. But luckily for me, there is pedals. I have checked timing and all that and everything seems to be as it is supposed to so, there, so I don't think it got any more than this. Uh, it could be restricted some kind of way, I don't know, but... Uh, but it's not uncommon for all French mopeds to struggle on this hill. So it will be different when we get to a more plain level. This moped is clearly meant for... Uh, clearly meant for just sipping around in a small town to go to the bakery and get some, some bread or or something like that and then back to your camper van. Uh, it's also not very comfortable for long rides. The very shallow steering wheel is very weird because the steering is just really overreacting a lot. Yeah, 
you are not sitting that great either, but it's working just fine. As you can see now, we are not, we're still going uphill, but it's better. Uh, it's not that steep, and we are almost at 20 kilometers per hour now. That is amazing. I've seen 25 from time to time. I got a little slight headwind also right now. Uh, so when I take the next turn up there, I think we'll see 25. I need to change the cables on this because it's sticking, the throttle is sticking badly. So if I let go, nothing really happens. And if I wriggle it, something happens. I need to change the cables, but it's riding pretty decently. That's for sure. This is probably my favorite moped, not for riding exactly, but just because it is so incredibly cool and so fun to ride. Are we almost at 25? I haven't checked if the speedo is actually correct, but they tend to be rather precise, these kinds of things. And now we are seeing 20. Just shy of 25, that's great. But anyway, thanks for watching this video of my Mopi, Mopi X Motopican moped, folding moped. <laughs> it's a lovely one. Yeah, and I think it took two years for me to make this riding video. It's not that I haven't been riding it, I just forgot to make a video about it. And today the weather is decent, so it's, yeah, it's moped riding weather. Oh, there's a corner. Let's see if I can get that apex. Oh, on the steer. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.